Hello my dear viewers, welcome again to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. For the new viewers, kindly subscribe my channel by clicking the button subscribe. Thank you. Our presentation in this video will discuss the topic volcanoes, which covers the lessons, definition of volcano, formation of volcano, location, and types of volcano, active volcanoes example just sit back and relax while watching and listening my discussion so let's start important terms to remember lava magma and plate lava molten rock that breaks through the earth's surface hot molten or semi-fluid rock erupted from a volcano is called lava. The term lava is also used for the solidified rock formed by the cooling of a molten lava flow. Magma, molten rock that is underground, hot fluid or semi-fluid material below or within the earth's crust. Magma is a mixture of molten and semi-molten rock found beneath the surface of the earth. Magma versus lava. What's the difference? Lava is molten rock that has reached the Earth's surface through volcanic vents, while magma is molten rock stored in the Earth's surface. Did you know lava can also be found at the bottom of oceans in places called mid-ocean ridges? They account for more than 75% of the Earth's volcanic activity another term is plate part of the earth's crust which continuously moving in plates specifically in plate boundaries most likely produce volcanic activity these plates are divergent plate boundaries and convergent plate boundaries picture it shows the divergent plate boundaries and the right picture shows convergent plate boundaries volcano defined as a mountain or hill typically conical having a crater or vent through which lava rock fragments hot vapor gas is being or have been erupted from the earth's crust also defined as a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object such as earth that allows hot lava volcanic ash and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface how are volcanoes formed a volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which lava volcanic ash and gases escape beneath a volcano Liquid magma containing dissolved gases rises through cracks in the Earth's crust. As the magma rises, pressure decreases, allowing the gases to form bubbles. Again, volcanoes are formed when magma from within the Earth's upper mantle works its way to the surface. Over time, as the volcano continues to erupt, it will get bigger and bigger. A volcano is formed when a hot molten rock, ash, and gases escape from an opening in the Earth's surface, as what is shown in the picture. The molten rock and ash solidify as they cool, forming the distinctive volcano shape shown here. As a volcano erupts, it spills lava that flows down slope. Therefore, on Earth, Volcanoes are generally found where tectonic plates are diverging or converging and most are found under water. Most volcanoes form at the boundaries of earth tectonic plates, the two types of plate boundaries that are most likely to produce volcanic activity are divergent plate boundaries and convergent plate boundaries. At divergent plate boundary, tectonic plates move apart from one another. 
kindly take a look with that picture. This is a mid-oceanic ridge. It shows volcanoes in the mid-Atlantic ridge caused by diverging of tectonic plates. Volcanoes are formed where there is stretching and thinning of the crust plates. For the converging of plates, whereas the Pacific Ring of Fire has volcanoes caused by convergent tectonic plates, pictures show volcanoes located at Pacific Ring of Fire. The last one, volcano underwater, also called as submarine volcano. Submarine volcanoes are underwater vents or fissures in the earth surface from which magma can erupt. Many submarine volcanoes are located near areas of tectonic plate formation, known as mid-ocean ridges. What boundaries has volcanoes? Volcanoes are located along plate boundaries. There are three main places where volcanoes originate. Hot spots, divergent plate boundaries, and convergent plate boundaries. For the divergent plate boundaries, example is rifts and mid-ocean ridges. For the convergent plate boundaries, the subduction zones. Now let us proceed to the different types of volcanoes. Those are composite or stratovolcanoes, shield volcanoes, and dome volcanoes. Composite volcano. Composite volcanoes, sometimes known as stratovolcanoes, are steep sided cones formed from layers of ash and lava flows. The picture shows a simple cross section through a composite volcano. The eruption from these volcanoes may be a pyroclastic flow rather than a flow of lava. When composite volcanoes erupt, they are explosive and pose a threat to nearby life and property. Eruptions are explosive due to the thick, highly viscous lava that is produced by composite cone volcanoes. Composite volcanoes are usually found at destructive plate margins. Example of composite volcanoes include Mount Fuji at Japan and also the Mount Pinatubo here in the Philippines. Don't you know that one of the largest volcanic eruptions happened was the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines on the year 1991? Mount Pinatubo became f famous Philippine volcano due to its violent eruption in 1991. Now let us proceed to shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are low with gently sloping sides and are formed from layers of lava. Eruptions are typically non-explosive. This is a simple cross-section through a shield volcano. Shield volcanoes are usually found at constructive boundaries and sometimes at volcanic hot spots. These are the examples of shield volcanoes. The last one is dome volcano volcanic dome also called lava dome in a steep sided mound that is formed when lava reaching the earth's surface is viscous that it cannot flow away readily and accumulates around the vent acid or lava is much thicker than which flows from shield volcanoes Dome volcanoes have much steeper sides than shield volcanoes. This is because the lava is thick and sticky. It cannot flow very far before it cools and hardens. Example of this is the Piedi Dome 
at France, which last erupted over 1 million years ago. Active Volcanoes The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology classifies volcanoes according to its eruptive history. Active volcano, a volcano with accounts of eruption documented within 10,000 years. There are about 300 volcanoes in the Philippines. 22 of these are active, while the larger percentage remains dormant as of the record. The majority of the active volcanoes are located in the island of Luzon. The six most active volcanoes here in the Philippines are Mayon, Hibok-Hibok, Pinatubo, Taal, Kanlaon, and Bolusan. And it ends for now. Hope that you liked and learned from this discussion. To stay up to date with my latest videos and cool educational discussions, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion, by clicking the button. Thank you and have a blessed day, everyone.